Welcome to this week's Africa Investment News, brought to you by Jobs for Africa Foundation and Africa Alert. My name is Diana Ambale. Today we'll look at Invest in climate adaptation to achieve economic growth. World Bank tells Africa. As African nations push for more climate financing at the ongoing COP27 climate change conference in Egypt, a series of reports by the World Bank underscores the urgent need for African countries to invest more in climate change adaptation, lest they will miss out on their development goals. They also outline priority actions and financing needs and recommend investments in infrastructure to strengthen climate resilience while supporting economic growth. The first hydrogen plant in Africa has gone live. The facility is located in the Suez Canal Economic Zone in Egypt. The project targets a 100 megawatts electrolysis capacity powered by 260 megawatts of solar and wind energy. The electrolyzer will be able to generate 15,000 tons of green hydrogen per year. This product will be used as a feedstock for the production of at least 90,000 tons of green ammonia per year. The processing will be carried out in two existing fatty globe ammonia plants in Ain Sokhna. Biden announces $150 million to support climate adaptation in Africa. The President of the United States of America announced this at the COP27 conference in Egypt. The over $150 million will accelerate the implementation of his emergency plan for adaptation and resilience work across Africa. This is in support of the Adaptation in Africa initiative he and Egypt's President Abdel Fattah announced in June. Rwanda launches $104 million Green Economy Fund. Rwanda's president Paul Kagame is launching Ireme Invest. The $104 million green investment facility will support the private sector in developing the climate-friendly economy. The fund will target projects in key sectors including renewable energy deployment, improving energy efficiency in industrial processes, introducing vehicle emission standards, deploying electric vehicles, and promoting the use of biogas on farms. Climate change threatens Manapul's biodiversity. Climate change, alongside a huge elephant population, land degradation, and habitat loss are emerging to be top threats to biodiversity at Manapul's National Park tacked on the southern banks of the Zambezi River in northern Zimbabwe. This is according to the area manager, Edmo Ngosi. That's it for today. To receive more of our weekly investment news, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell. Thank you for choosing Africa Invest. See you next week.